two large storms will be coming to the United States over the next seven days, which will bring the potential for more significant severe weather, including damaging winds, large to very large hail, and the potential for tornadoes. So in today's forecast, we are going to break down exactly what you need to know about the weather that will be impacting the United States over the next seven days. And we'll begin with what's happening across the country today. And we are coming off of a very active day of severe weather from Minnesota all the way back down into Texas. This is the remnants of yesterday. We still have some showers and even isolated storms out there this morning that are all moving into Missouri and eastern Kansas. But generally speaking, the severe weather threat is over for the time being. But we are expecting more storms to fire off later today, anywhere from the central and southern plains, even back over to the east coast, where there will be a few rounds of severe storms with mainly damaging winds and large hail. But I think the big story for this week is what is happening at the tail end of this week, around Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. We may get an intense low pressure system that moves across the northern plains. This could actually bring the return of some significant severe weather to areas like the Midwest and the Ohio Valley. So we're going to be talking about this here in just a moment. And this is a little recap of yesterday's severe weather event. We actually end up having nine tornado reports, which most of them were back over in North Dakota and far northwestern Minnesota. We did actually have a PDS tornado warning at one point just to the southeast of Grand Forks. It was a brief but likely strong tornado. The National Weather Service will go ahead and survey that later today. And then also about 95 wind reports across the northeast and also back into the central plains and obviously we were not live yesterday but i do think there's a very good chance that we'll be live at least once if not maybe twice over the next four days looking at thursday friday and saturday for the potential of at least some significant severe weather now let's talk more about the weather pattern that'll be impacting the united states over the next seven days as this will be directly shaping how we are going to be seeing severe weather and where we're going to be seeing severe weather beginning with what's happening today this is our mid-level flow we actually have a large high pressure system currently in place back over in the south west and then also our jet stream and our mid-level flow is lifted very far off to the north we do have a low pressure system that is actually coming out of california over the next day or two and this will likely be the next big storm system here east of the rocky mountains so as we go into late tuesday and into wednesday we are expecting the weather pattern to stay somewhat quiet there will be a chance of severe weather today and tomorrow but generally speaking it is a low risk not really expecting a whole lot of organized severe weather just a lot of sporadic showers and thunderstorms that may lead to some damaging winds hail and maybe a brief tornado somewhere but i think the big story again will be around thursday and friday our high pressure system will retreat back to the west and also weaken and while that happens we're gonna have at least one shortwave trough move over the rockies on thursday this may bring some severe weather to the central and northern plains on thursday with damaging winds hail and maybe even a few tornadoes being a possibility but i think friday is the potential day that we actually could see a severe weather outbreak and i think that is entirely possible back over in the midwest in the ohio valley both the european model and and the GFS model are hinting at a storm system that could be relatively intense with a lot of instability and a lot of moisture in the Midwest, which could lead to significant severe weather. Now, with that said, this is a very small scale low pressure system, so things could change over the next day or two. But if the models continue to trend in the way they're going, I do think there's a potential for some significant severe weather in the Midwest on Friday. So something to watch for, especially in and around Milwaukee, Chicago, and even back into eastern Iowa. And then as we go into Saturday, that storm system will lift further off to the north it may bring some severe weather on Saturday, even from the Southern Plains back into the Great Lakes. I do think this will be a bit more isolated, maybe a bit more localized for our tornado threat, but damaging winds and hail should be possible across the board. And then by Sunday into Monday, another trough will make a close appearance here to the Northern Plains and the Midwest that may bring some more severe weather on the later half of the weekend. And then by next week, I think this active weather pattern is going to continue for the Midwest, Northern Plains, and back into the Northeast, where we should at least see one or two more storm systems that bring the potential for severe weather but we are getting awfully close to the middle and end of july which is typically when our jet stream lifts very far off to the north heat builds severe weather gets at least a little bit more isolated to scattered usually not nearly as many organized severe weather events and typically the tropics begin to heat up so definitely going to be a change of pace at some point here in july but at least for the next week or two the severe weather pattern is going to remain active and we are going to go way more in detail about the severe weather potential for the next few days but before we do that we need to talk about today's sponsor before we dive deeper into today's four Forecast, I want to share something that really shocked me. Did you know that your personal information, like your name, phone number, address, and even relatives, could be for sale online right now? Data brokers collect this information and sell it to anyone, including scammers, stalkers, or even foreign actors. With my large online presence, I've always had to worry about people misusing my data. That is why I use Delete Me, a hands free privacy service that finds where your personal information is listed online and removes it from hundreds of data broker websites. 
Delete Me has already removed my data from over 100 websites and it continues to scan the internet year round to make sure my data isn't for sale elsewhere. Delete Me is super simple, very effective, and it keeps a huge weight off my shoulders. We all deserve more time to track storms and not hackers. So what are you waiting for? Go to joindeleteme.com slash maxvelocity or use the top link in the description below and use code maxvelocity to get 20% off on all consumer plans. Now that Delete Me is keeping both of our on online data private, let's get right back into the forecast. Now let's talk more about the severe weather potential for the next few days, beginning with today, which is Tuesday, and we have a slight risk of severe weather in place back over in the mid-Atlantic from New Jersey, back into Maryland and Virginia, marginal threat from Massachusetts into South Carolina, and we also have a marginal threat from Illinois and Kentucky all the way back into Texas, where damaging winds and large hail will be the biggest concerns today. I would anticipate a pretty good swath of damaging winds to move across mid-Atlantic today, so be ready for power lines to go down and trees to go down in some locations. So the biggest concern again for today will be damaging winds that will be scattered along the East Coast. And then if you're back over in the Great Plains, there is a potential for isolated large hail, not expecting really anything larger than the size of ping pong balls today. Tornado threat, very minuscule, no tornado risk outline for right now, and I really don't think there will be one added, but maybe a brief tornado somewhere is a possibility today. On Wednesday, severe weather continues across the Northern Plains and also along the East Coast, where damaging winds and hail will be a possibility in both regions. I do think there's a low chance of an isolated tornado from Nebraska back into North Dakota on Wednesday. It'll depend on storm mode, but there should just be enough wind shear in place where we get an isolated tornado threat. I think the greatest potential for that will be in this general region. So again, North Dakota back into northern Nebraska. And as we go into Thursday, this is a day that I do think is a bit more concerning. And then Friday, in my opinion, looks a lot more concerning for the Midwest. But beginning with Thursday, the Storm Prediction Center does have a slight risk in place for southeastern South Dakota, western Iowa back into northern Kansas and eastern Nebraska. So again, this is an area that I do think significant severe weather is on the table. I know it's not a huge risk of severe weather when it comes to the size, but I do personally think that there could be even a strong tornado risk in this area, and I do think very large hail and damaging winds are going to be on the table. This marginal threat of severe weather goes all the way from the northern plains back into the Texas panhandle. We also have a small marginal threat of severe weather along the east coast. And then by Friday, I think all hazards of severe weather are going to be on the table across the Midwest west and the great lakes with damaging winds hail and tornadoes being a possibility exactly how significant this event is going to be still remains somewhat uncertain and that is mainly because of how small and compact this low pressure system will be but nonetheless there will be plenty of wind shear plenty of instability really all the ingredients are there but i do think this is definitely a day that we need to keep a very close eye on now let's go day by day with the timing of severe weather beginning with today across the east coast where we are expecting some scattered showers and storms to fire up biggest concern will be damaging winds once again maryland in northern Virginia should be seeing some storms by around 3 to 4 o'clock. By 5 to 6, storms become a little bit more widespread from southeastern Pennsylvania all the way back through the heart of Virginia. By around 8 to 9 o'clock tonight, storms are moving towards the coastline where we'll still see some damaging winds and isolated hail across New Jersey back into Maryland and Virginia. Generally speaking, though, again, not really anything beyond that. I don't really expect much of a tornado risk here. If we were to see a tornado, it would likely be on the brief and weak side of things. Back over in the central plains for today, some storms will fire off, mainly back over near St. Louis, back even into southern Missouri. May see a couple of clusters of storms form where damaging winds will be the greatest concern. Isolated large hail and maybe a brief tornado being a possibility. And then by around 8, 9 o'clock tonight, most of these storms will be falling apart. So the biggest thing is just to make sure that you're staying weather aware today. And if thunder roars, go indoors as there could be some frequent lightning out of the storms that do fire today. Back over in the Ohio Valley, scattered showers and storms will fire off, mainly across central southern Illinois, back into southern Missouri. May see a few storms pop up as well near Memphis back through the Nashville area with damaging winds and hail being a possibility. Again, tornado risk is basically zero today. Just have ways to receive warnings and you should be fine today. And then on Wednesday, more storms will fire off here across the Ohio Valley, mainly in eastern Kentucky and Tennessee. Some sporadic storms back over in Virginia and North Carolina where more damaging winds and hail will be a possibility. This is what the future radar looks like. A little bit further off to the east. So again, pretty much numerous to widespread storms again on Wednesday. But overall, we're mainly talking about damaging winds and hail. Tornado risk is is going to be near zero. And then back over in the Northern Plains on Wednesday, we are expecting scattered severe weather with mainly a damaging wind threat across South Dakota back into Nebraska. There is a conditional potential, I think, for a tornado further to the east, but that's going to depend on a discrete supercell firing off in that environment, which does not appear likely as of right now, but it is something that we'll be keeping an eye on. Storms should fall apart by around 11 to 12 o'clock on Wednesday before eventually we are clearing out for the night, and then we may see more severe weather in this area on Thursday with damaging winds and hail being a possibility. 
instability and a low tornado risk, which we'll talk more about in our next video. And then by Thursday, the environment is going to be more ripe for the potential of tornadoes, especially since we have a shortwave trough that is ejecting over the Rocky Mountains, as we alluded to earlier in the forecast. So this should help to allow for a lot of vorticity and spin. There will also be plenty of, plenty of instability here as well, which basically means very unstable environment on Thursday across the Central Plains. The NAM model right now is showing a pretty favorable corridor here for the potential of tornadoes. And by the way, this is the significant tornado parameter values, which basically gives us an idea of where our greatest tornado threat may reside on a given day. And right now on Thursday, it looks like we're going to have a pretty favorable corridor, but I think the greatest concern for this will be back over here in eastern Nebraska. May see a low tornado risk further down to the south, but that's going to come down to storms actually firing down there and also coming down to storm mode. But generally speaking, I do think we are going to have the potential again of tornadoes on Thursday. It may be a bit more localized to eastern Nebraska. Then by Friday, this will start to shift into the Midwest. So going a little bit more detail about Thursday through the weekend, this is what the future radar looks like. On Thursday, we are expecting at least some storms to fire off here across the central plains with damaging winds, hail, and perhaps a few tornadoes that's going to come down to storm mode. And then back over in the northern plains, a line of thunderstorms may fire back over in North Dakota, South Dakota, and Northwest Minnesota. So that is something we'll be keeping an eye on on Thursday. By Friday, this low pressure system will organize and move further to the east where we are expecting the potential for scattered to numerous severe weather for Minnesota, Iowa, back even towards Kansas City, and also into Wisconsin and Illinois, where damaging winds hail and a few tornadoes will be a possibility. And then by Saturday, that low pressure system will lift further off to the north, but I would anticipate at least some isolated to scattered severe weather from the Texas and Oklahoma panhandles all the way back into the Ohio Valley and the Great Lakes. And then by Sunday, that storm system is moving out. We'll have another shot of severe weather, I think, on Sunday back over in the Midwest, likely another round of thunderstorms here with some damaging winds and hail being a possibility and a low tornado risk out of another shortwave trough back over in Canada. And then by early next week, the severe weather threat will continue, especially for those in the central and northern plains, the Midwest, and then back through the Ohio Valley. So be ready for an active weather pattern. The next five to seven days does appear to be very active. I think today and tomorrow are kind of break days. We're not really expecting anything widespread by any means. No big outbreaks expected. But again, I do think Thursday, Friday could be sneaky days. I do think live streams are likely on both Thursday and Friday. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon down below so you're notified with the latest updates as I do think this weather pattern is going to stay active. And as always, thank you all so much for watching today's forecast. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below. And a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Delete Me. You can check out Delete Me with the top link in the description below and use code MAXVELOCITY at checkout for 20% off. It would not be possible to do everything that we do on this channel without our amazing sponsors and even the members of this channel. So again, huge shout out to all of you and we'll see you guys all again in the next video or live stream.